So, in the midst of all the chaos that is going on in this world that we live in right now, what is it you need? Emergency stockpile. What to try to get now? How to try to get it? There's several different ways that you can go about this nowadays, considering that with the whole Charlie Victor and I thing, um, everybody is just trying to basically make a sale and they're willing to do just about anything to get it to you. Now, you can either have it delivered to you, you can go pick it up, um, you, can, you can order online, you can order from Amazon, you can order from Walmart, you can order from all your different grocery stores, like for me, it's Publix and Winn-Dixie. They all deliver, or I can choose to go down there and pick it up, and I don't even have to go into the store. So, when you're doing your emergency stockpile, you know, you got to make sure that you're asking a few questions here before you start really going out and buying said products. All right. First thing is, what do I need? You got to make sure that you're taking an inventory of everything that you have and everything that you and your family eat on a daily basis and products that you will eat. Don't be buying a bunch of stuff that you're not going to eat. As I have stated in some of my videos, 90% of what you will eat, 10% of what you'll only eat in case of an emergency, period. What more can I do? What more can you do to try to make sure that you have enough food and supplies put away for you and your family in case SHTF hits the fan again whenever that could happen at some point in time in our life and you're going to be ready <clears throat> and last one another thing is is what do you not want to be without what are the certain foods ingredients whatever it may be that you don't want to be without all right maybe you like your coffee okay you don't want to be without coffee so you're going to buy make sure that you always have coffee I'm just using coffee in his example because most people drink coffee. All right. You don't get coffee. A lot of people get really ugly in the morning. And if you're going through a bad situation, the last thing you want to do is be ugly in the morning. So coffee probably could be a really good thing for you. Maybe you like tea. Who knows? But I'm just using coffee as an example. You know, <clears throat> you also want to make sure that you are buying the food products that you know how to cook, how to prepare, and what to do with them, and how to use them in each type of a recipe that you could change and use a lot of different products to get a very good result in a short amount of time. Now, another thing you have to make sure that you have is a way to cook all these said products that we're talking about. Because it's this just say everything in your house is electric. All right. Say the power grid goes out. The power's out. Um, maybe you didn't pay your bill and they turn your power off. If you have some way to fall back on with either a barbecue grill, a cooktop, a Coleman stove, um, butane, um, any type of way that you can cook over heat this way here you can still make your dinners now let's just say that uh, with everything that's going on with charlie victor 19 you don't want to go to the stores which is fine and dandy you can just take and you can uh you can go online to walmart you can order the products and um they'll deliver it right to your door in certain areas and the other areas you can go pick them up right at the store problem what happens is is when you do that sometimes you're going to notice online it's going to say unavailable all right and you may already placed an order and it was available and now it says unavailable all right. Now I have done this personally. I have gone and picked up my groceries. They told me they weren't, they didn't have this. They didn't have this. They didn't have this. I have pulled around, parked the car, 
threw my mask on and went inside the store and lo and behold, it's on the shelf. Really? See, this is where the problem is. Now, I don't know if it's the people that are picking the orders or if it's their system. Now, I do know that there are supply issues that are going on with a lot of the big stores, a lot of the big grocery stores and everything else. Um, they are, they do have product on the shelves. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to start a panic here or anything else, but it's not full shelves. So instead of having usually like a full shelf of something, they may only have six or eight. And that's why you do still see on some said products that you're only allowed one or two and I noticed that even on Walmart when you go online and you're ordering online to have it delivered or pick it up they're limiting you to like three products two products or sometimes it's only one so you can utilize all those types of services which are really great if you want to stay out of the stores but I would suggest if you're not a high risk, quote, high risk, you know, underlining conditions and everything else, sometimes it may be in your favor just to throw a mask on and go in the store and check it out for yourself, especially if you're looking for something in particular. If you don't want them to substitute, um, I would suggest that you do that because Lord knows what you're going to get if they substitute. All right, so you want to stock up on your soups with meat in them. Um, meat is becoming a, um, not so much a hard to get item, it's very limited and the prices are going up big time on a lot of different products. The only thing that you still can get at the same price is Walmart's chicken breast is still $1.99 a pound down here in Florida. Now that hasn't gone up, but everything else has gone up. So I don't know, maybe they had some chicken stash somewhere at some farm or something and they just didn't tell anybody. But, you know, everything else is going up. The pork, the beef, all that kind of stuff. You know, you want to make sure that you're looking for like your instant mashed potatoes, your instant rice, all that kind of stuff. You know, it's great to have for emergency stockpile. Your canned chicken, your canned uh, beef, um, tuna fish and all that kind of stuff you can take and you can make all kinds of meals with that as long as you have something to make with them. Um, <clears throat> if you're worried about uh, your dry goods, your beans, your rice, uh, cornmeal, uh, you know, flour, sugar, all this kind of stuff, always remember that if you're worried about bugs, which I should say, um, you want to take and you could freeze that. Once you freeze it, and you can turn around and you take it out of the freezer for a day and let it thaw and get room temperature and let it set there for a day or two then freeze it again because what happens is is sometimes those little bugs if there are any in there i haven't had any problems with mine yet but i have heard of people having the problem so if you're worried you freeze it again after this the second day and you freeze it, then you take it out, let it warm back up in the room temperature before you start to pack it in your Mylar bags, um, vacuum seal in it, canning jars, all that type of stuff. And you should be fine and good on the bug situation. If you pack it and store it properly, a lot of dry goods will last you for a good 20 to 30 years if you do it properly. It's all based on you. It's all based on your knowledge on how to do those things. You can gain a lot of knowledge by watching videos, uh, reading books. There's just so much out there that um, shows you, tells you, and anything else. I have videos. There's a lot of people that do just canning videos. You could search those people out. I mean, all they do is can that's all they do they, they don't talk about anything else any you know so if you're looking for really good canning videos those are the people you want to try to search out and find but the moral of the story is you want to make sure that you're working on your emergency stockpile in the midst of the chaos that is going on right now just in case the chaos really just doesn't want to leave it likes to be around 
And I sometimes think the government likes it to be around too. They kind of like this whole chaotic mess we're in. Anybody really thought about that? So we all control our own destinies. Balls in your court. Emergency stockpile. What you need. How to get it. It's what you just watched. Till next time. My name is Charles. Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And we'll catch you all on the flip side.